Selena, and I'm a librarian at the Cone Park branch of the Alachua County Library District. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to create some fun upcycled wall art that you can make at home with just a few simple materials. Mine was created to demonstrate the phases of the moon, and I'll be showing you how to do that as we go through the process. But you can create yours with any design that you would like or with no design at all. The materials that we are going to be using today are a hot glue gun with glue, some rhinestones to add some bling to our design, 16 bamboo skewers. Now I've chosen to use two different lengths of skewers, which would mean that you would need eight long skewers and eight short skewers. Old CDs or DVDs that you can cut up either a Sharpie or black spray paint, some tape, and a template um, to help you spray paint the different phases of the moon onto the circles that you cut out of your CDs. We are going to begin our project by creating the discs um, that will be glued to our skewers. Now you're going to want to make sure that you draw your circles on the side that is not going to be shown um, when you hang it up. So I am using a uh, paint bottle as my guide to get these circles on here. Circles are approximately uh, one and a half inches, but you can make them whatever size you would prefer. Now we are going to need one circle for each skewer that we are attaching to um, our wall art. So that would be, we have a total of 16 skewers, so we are going to need a total of 16 circles. So now that we have all of our circles drawn onto our disc, we are ready to start cutting. Now, cutting CDs and DVDs is not easy. So please remember to be careful, to take your time, and um, make sure that you are being safe. Cutting out the circle into a triangle like this just makes it easier for um, me to be able to cut out the circle. Now, cutting circles is difficult on regular paper, and I'm going to let you know that it is more difficult when you're cutting through um, your CDs or DVDs. So just be patient, and um, you really don't need a perfect circle. Uh, it's going to be a little bit jagged, maybe a little uneven, but in the end, it still is going to look beautiful. The next step is to take this template that we have created that gives us the um, shapes of our different moons, and we're gonna go ahead and cut those out. Now, I'm going to show you a little trick um, in the way that I made these templates. So you see that we have one circle here. Uh, we are going to cut this along the different um, colors. So we are going to have our blue moon, and then we are going to have our black moon. And you see now that we have this, when we put this onto our disc and spray paint it, this part will be black, and then this part is going to stay silver. And that's going to give us our waxing and our waning gibbous. With a crescent shape onto our disc, and we spray paint it, this side is going to remain silver and give us our crescent moon shape while this side um, becomes black. And all you're going to do to attach those is to cut just a little piece of tape. Probably made that one a little bit too big. <clears throat> stick it to the back of our paper and then stick it on the portion of the disc that you would like to stay silver. So Next, we will be spray painting our discs and skewers. Make sure that you are in a well-ventilated area and that you put down protection so that your spray paint doesn't go everywhere. You might need more than one coat. You can create the same designs with a Sharpie. So now that our spray paint has dried, we're ready to begin assembling. You'll see that we have our new moon right here. We have a waxing crescent, our first quarter, our waxing gibbous, our full moon, 
the waning gibbous, the third quarter, and our waning crescent. The first thing we're going to do in our assembly process is um, get our base ready for our skewers. We're going to want to um, do this on the side that will not be showing when you hang it on your wall. I like to create guidelines for myself so that I know where at least the phases of the moon skewers will be going. So I'm just going to take a sharpie and a ruler. And they don't have to be perfect um, as far as evenness goes, but just kind of do the best you can. going to begin by gluing our long skewers first. Um, so you're just going to take your hot glue gun and make a nice line of glue on the area that you've marked. Now I recommend using more glue over less glue um, just to make sure that it, it sticks <laughs> and doesn't come apart. And again, it doesn't have to be precisely where you put those lines, you're just, it's just a guideline. And please, please remember to be careful and uh, don't burn yourself with this hot glue. It can be very, very hot. And so just make sure that you are being safe with your hot glue gun. So now that we have finished gluing the long skewers, we're going to glue the short skewers right in the in-between space. Now that we finished gluing all of our skewers in place, um, I am going to add uh, just a little bit of glue uh, to one more base CD because I would like to try and give it a little bit more stability and on a functional note you now have a place to hang your wall art once it is dry and complete. Okay, now that we have our base ready to go, I'm going to begin uh, gluing on our moon shapes. So I'm going to start with the new moon and you're just going to put a line of glue on it the same way that you did uh, for the base and then stick it onto the skewer. And you might have to hold it for a second, but be very careful that you're only touching the top and not the bottom because you don't want that hot glue to get on your finger and burn you. our moon faces onto our wall art, we are going to start working on putting on the other discs. Now for these, I'm going to go down probably about two fingers on each one and just kind of put them in a little bit different spot. So to cover the base part, I am going to take um, pieces of two CDs that I have cut up and just kind of place them on there randomly. We are just going to add some finishing touches to our wall art and make it sparkle with some bling. And all you're going to do is just very carefully put a dab of hot glue on the back of your bling and then place it where you would like on the skewer. We have a beautiful piece of art to hang on our wall made from some simple upcycled materials. I hope that you have enjoyed creating our wall art today and that you'll share pictures of your creations with us on social media at Alachua Library. Thanks for tuning in.